The data that you want to analyze is often made up of collection of tables that are related by specific fields. The joining is a method for combining the related data on those common fields. The result of combining data using a join is a table that's typically extend horizontally by adding fields of data. Joining is an operation you can do anywhere in the flow. Joining early in a flow can help you understand your data set and expose areas that need attention right away. Here we have global superstore data and I have orders, people and returns. Now let us drag and drop orders table. Here you have an option you can click and use join. Okay. Once you have clicked join, it will ask for another table to join where you can just drag. Once if you drag and hover over the join flow, it will ask three options. One is add, second one is union and third is a join. So you have to click add because you have to add with the order returns. Now let's see what happens if I just drop it in a join. Okay, it is creating an another join. So we have to do what? We have to add it. So drag and drop this join to the join and click that. And now you can see a warning symbol because we have already discussed in the theoretical part that if you want to join any two table you should add you can join with any one common field that is why it is showing like that so this is what the settings of join here you can do you can select here add to select on which two common fields you are planning to join this here you can see order ID and this is orders. This is about orders table and this is about the returns table. And you can see that order ID is common for both the table. So you can select order ID and order ID. The next one we have to see is what type of join we can do. So we have left join, inner join, right join, left only right only not in a full these are the various types of joins which are available in tableau prep so here by default you can see that see it is showing it is an inner join okay this is what inner join so what is inner join for each row includes value that have matches on the both the tables so if you want to make it as a left join, then simply you can select on the left circle. So this is what left. You can see here this that the left circle means it's a order stable and the right one is what returns. So this is now in left join where for each row includes all values from the left table and corresponding matches from the right table. When a value in the left table doesn't have a corresponding match in the right table, you see a null value in the joint result. So if you want to make it as a, see this is a full join, okay, because I have selected on the right side as well, so it has been changed to full. If you again select the left circle, it will become a right join, okay, it's all about how you select it. Now I have uh, selected, deselected the intersected part so it is showing right only okay if you select the left as well but not an intersected one intersected um, part then it is not in now okay so whenever you select any part you can find the relevant result on the join result okay so here you can find it so you can, you have to join at least two table. If you want to use a join, you have to join at least two. You can even join more than two table. That is not an issue, but at least you should have two tables. Okay. So here you can see that uh, this is the output of the result. So this means include 
included this is zero because because we have only given left only okay and how many records are retrieved yes so if you connect to a table that has table relationships defined and includes related fields you can select join and select from a list of related tables tableau prep creates the join based on the fields that make up the relationship between the two tables so relationship is different joining is different okay so joining means you need at least one one common field between the two tables now you can see that this is the result of the joined table so if you want to fetch the output that is if you want to create this as an output you can make it as an output flow or if you want to clean this you can click clean step after join if you want to do any other step you can directly start working on it so there is no restrictions that you should not do anything after joining or you should not do anything before joining nothing like that so all these steps can be performed at any time 